Tom has his own YouTube channel. Mm, someone's doing well. It is on the Radio on Breakfast Show, 9.42. Uh, attention, everybody. It's because we're... Oh, it's, it's, get up, get up, up, up. All rise, all rise for the Royal Pencil. Everyone in the live lounge is now stood up. Uh, but, but producer Will needs to use his computer, so he's uh, leaning down. Let's get hands off the keyboard. Up for the Royal Pencil. The Royal Pencil is a saga that's been going for over a year now. It all started when we went to Kensington Palace. I know, fancy, huh? With Camila Cabello with our teen heroes last year. And I dared her to steal something. From there, I put a pencil in Camila Cabello's mum's handbag. And then it turned into a global news story because remember when there was no actual news? Um, That's what we were fixated on. Anyway, it became a big thing. And we've got the Royal Pencil in our... In our possession. Well, we did have until we started passing it around people. The next person then, who will it go to? Tom, good morning. Good morning, Greg. Good morning. Would you like to pass it on to a fresher who's going to university who's having a bit of a tricky time because of the pandemic and all the rest of it and quarantining and everything. And she chose that. And you are that person. Tom, the Royal Pencil should be near you. Where are you right now? I am right outside my accommodation reception, eagerly waiting to go and pick it up. Okay, so, and then you've been a bit poorly. Did you have coronavirus? Sadly, I had had COVID, but I'm over it now. It's all good. Okay, but you're feeling okay now? I'm all right. I'm getting there. And what's it like at Manchester Met? Because we've been speaking to a few students over the last couple of weeks. Obviously, people are quarantining and stuff, but you're out of quarantine now, are you? Because obviously you're, you're over it. Yeah, I'm out. It's a weird atmosphere, though. I still got friends in quarantine, and there's, it's just very strange right now. So weird, isn't it? Well, this is, this was Amelia's um, thought process. She was like, something to distract him, a bit of nonsense. So we're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna have custody of the royal pencil for, um, well, for a week or so, I guess, or however long you want. Um, now I'm looking at the. Do you remember when Track and Trace was just a thing on the Royal Mail <laughs> website and not like a, 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 a national talking point? Um, I'm I looking did. at the Royal Mail because obviously the Royal Pencil deserves the Royal Mail. So I'm looking at the Track and Trace website now and it's saying that it was deli- due to be delivered today at 7.13am. So are you at the reception now? Is, any- is anything turned up? I am. I'm right outside now. All right, go in then. Let's, get, let's go in. Go in. Yeah, please go right. in. Mask on at the ready. All right, we need- oh yeah, mask on. Very important. Let's, uh, let's have some dramatic music. All right. To raise I'm the walking tension, in now. walking into the post room, the mask on. Right, I'm going to ask the lady at reception. Excuse me, have you had? Have you taken delivery of a royal pencil? Please say that. Have you taken a delivery of the royal pencil for Tom? <laughs> not yet. Not yet. Oh, <laughs> not yet. Sadly, not yet. No. No, not yet, little boy. Get out. Oh, that's uh, not here just yet. Doesn't seem like the friendliest uh, welcome. Okay, so that's, that's it. Is it not there? No, not here yet. Sadly. Oh, great. Well, all that build up and that's happened. Good. All right. Well, let's check back in on Monday and hopefully we'll have some better news for you. Do, do they get we will sat- try again. Do they get Saturday delivery? It might, it might turn up tomorrow, I suppose. Um, Maybe. For the purposes of the radio, I reckon wait till Monday. Yeah. Thank you, Yeah, great. Okay, thanks, Tom. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. How are we doing? Are we doing all right? Um, it has been a very strange start to university. You've probably seen all over my social media. I've been on a few different radio stations, uh, BBC News, ITD News. Um, it's been very strange. I was also in Face Magazine as well. Like it's it's been so strange, weird, surreal. Um, but um, the next thing is Radio One Breakfast. Radio One Breakfast this morning happened. Me, Greg James, trying to find a pencil. Could could you write it? You just couldn't write it. However, I have said royal pencil in here. That's my address. You don't need to see that. But I'm going to do a little unboxing video. And this vlog is a day in the life with the Radio One royal pencil. So here it is. Are you ready? I'm very excited to see this. 
So, special delivery, royal mail, royal pencil. Come on. It's open. A bit more. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> it says, precious, only to be opened by Tom. And it's got tape around it as well. That is amazing. Okay, do. Here we go. Oh. I've got a little card. Okay. It says, thank you for looking after the wall pencil. A little card. Tom, take care of her. We hope she brings you good luck for recovery, studying, and fun. Greg and the team. Amazing. That's so lovely. Right. And in the box. Here we are in bubble wrap. Okay. There's a pencil. This is weird. This is so strange. This pencil was stolen, not stolen, but it was borrowed by Camilla Cabello and Greg James when they were at Buckingham Palace. And it's now <laughs> in my hands. Look at that. The royal pencil. Look at that. Amazing. And this pencil is going to be coming on a little journey. So we're going to take it on a little journey around Manchester and we're going to take it on a little journey around Shrewsbury when I'm home for the weekend. But there it is. The Royal Pencil. Wow. As pencils go, that is a beautiful pencil. Not going to lie. And it says, nice day, HB on it. And that is from Buckingham Palace. Amazing. Amazing. There we have it. <laughs> the Royal Pencil. Now on the tram, taking the Royal Pencil to Media City. Here we go. Off the tram. So here I am with Coronation Street in the background. All the BBC buildings over here at Media City. This is like a media fan heaven, basically. I'm loving it. Having a great time. Also, we have the Royal Pencil on tour. Isn't it a little bit of a sights around Manchester? Has an, has an amazing time, I'm not gonna lie, this is just heaven. You join me right outside Coronation Street. Here it is at Media City with the BBC buildings in the background. Here we are, lovely stuff. It's very nice here. Quite cold actually. My hair's a bit of a mess as always, but here we are, Media City. This is cool and got my little friend with me from Greg James and Radio One, the Royal Pencil. It is royal. This isn't a pencil. And yeah, there we go. The Royal Pencil has now been to the Blue Peter Gardens as well. We are really getting it places today. I'm loving this. Just having a photo shoot with the Royal Pencil in its box though, because I'm scared that I'm gonna drop it into the water, which would not be good. Everyone would hate me. But yeah. On the tram now, on the way back. Manchester, just been to Spoons, had a lovely time, not gonna lie. Royal pencil, safe in the bag, safe. Okay, so heading home for the weekend, back to Shrewsbury. Got my suitcase ready, um, royal pencils in the suitcase, don't worry coming everywhere with me, right buried into my suitcase, just in case, you know, extra precaution. Uh, but yeah, home for the weekend. So gonna take the Royal Pencil around Shrewsbury and uh, do some sightseeing with my mum and a few of their friends. So that's gonna be fun. So off I go, back to Shrewsbury. For the first time in four weeks, I've not seen my family in four weeks, which is the longest time ever. So I'm excited. Let's go. excited to see mum at the same time, aren't you? Oh, come on. And just like that, I'm back home in Shrewsbury with the Royal Pencil, of course. It has now been to Shrewsbury. Here it is. Way. It's so nice to be home and it's really weird and at the same time, because I'm used to obviously windows at uni not opening 
much. It's just nice to do this. Like, I can't explain how nice that is, just to be able to open the window and have fresh air. Like, it's really cold here compared to Manchester, but it's just nice to be able to stick my head out the window. It's so nice. Really nice. So there we go. One more place the Royal Pencil has been. I'm trying to take it to as many places as possible, like where I am, like at the moment, obviously, like Manchester, to Media City. Um, it's been to my accommodation. It's now been home. It's been in my suitcase, like all the way home as well but taking it into Shrewsbury tomorrow because obviously I live just outside but yeah royal pencil this is so crazy doing a hard vlog about a pencil it's absolutely bonkers but that's what I love about this it's brilliant absolutely brilliant but yeah so royal pencil um we had been into Shrewsbury today with my mum and some of our family friends um just going around Shrewsbury and taking some photos with the royal pencil it was very fun. I actually forgot to vlog anything at all, but I've got loads of photos, so I'm going to insert them now, have a little quick montage. Um, it was so funny. Um, it then rained, so like holding the box, and I, I didn't really vlog. Um, but it was very fun. Very, very fun indeed. Um, more to come back on the radio on Monday. Twice, actually, the plan is so far. So very exciting stuff as a massive radio one fan this is like a dream for me so this is great um but yeah more coming soon from the royal pencil royal pencil take away Today's show is, I think it's going to pan out just about good. Maybe more than good. Maybe great. 7.15, we have a brand new week on the quiz. We need to catch up with our Royal Pencil correspondent, Tom, in Manchester Met. We're going to hear about the Royal Pencil in a second. Big news, big, big news. So Tom is at Manchester Met University, and on Thursday, we tried our best to get him the Royal Pencil to help him through the sort of weird year of being a fresher. Has he received it? Radio 1, Radio one Breakfast. One. With Greg James. We'll find out next. Coming up. Welcome to The Breakfast Show. We might be the owners of the most famous pencil in the world. The Royal Pencil. Camila Cabello has been caught red-handed by the royals. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> US pop star Camilla Cabello admitted that during a recent visit to Kensington Palace that she swiped an item. Swiped? She's admitted to stealing a pencil <gasps> from Kensington Palace. Swiped an item from the palace. Yeah, we've got it. We've got the pencil and we're, we're doing good with it now. It was ill-gotten gains to begin with. But now, it's, be it's being used to spread joy around the country. At a time of crisis. Ava took it on her first day of big school back in September. Then Amelia took it to school as well for a week and had a great time. She was the talk of the corridors. Oh my God, look, it's Amelia. She's got the pencil. That's Amelia. She's got the wrong pencil. That's what it was like. She's famous now. And on Thursday, we had plans to send it to Manchester, to Manchester Met University that's been in the, in the headlines for a couple of weeks now since um, Freshers Week started or whatever, the new term. Because obviously lots of students are locked down and having a really tough time with not having lectures and doing lots of seminars online and not really being able to socialise much and blah. So we decided to spread some joy to Manchester Met by sending the pencil to Tom. On Thursday, I was hoping the pencil would get there live on air. Didn't quite go to plan. So are you at the... It was a shame, that, wasn't it? It was a shame. That was Thursday. I left me with a bad taste in my mouth for the weekend, to be honest. However, I have news. Over the weekend, Tom has his own YouTube channel. Someone's doing well. So over the weekend, I saw a video of the pencil finally arriving 
And Tom did uh, one of those unboxing videos. Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. How are we doing? Are we doing all right? Um, I have said Royal Pencil in here. I'm gonna do a little unboxing video. I wonder how many pencil unboxing videos there are. This is, this is good, isn't it? It's good pencil content. Pencil! Oh, hang on. Where are, uh, 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 uh. Pencil content! Here's part two. Are you ready? I'm very excited to see this. So, special delivery, royal mail, royal pencil. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> it says, precious, only to be opened by Tom. I've got a little card, okay? Tom, take care of her. We hope she brings you good luck, Greg and the team. Amazing, there that's you go. so lovely. And here's the big moment. There's a pencil. This is weird, this is so strange. This pencil was stolen, not stolen, but it was borrowed by Camilla Cabello and Greg James. And it's now <laughs> in my hands. Good that, in his hands. Tom, good morning, is it still in your hands? Good morning, it is still in my hands. Good, 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 good. And great to see on those uh, unboxing videos that it was treated with the respect it deserves. Of course. Uh, so, so how is it? How is it being in the presence of the Royal Pencil? You, you said it sounded, it, it was a, a weird moment because it's been in the hands of Camila Cabello and it's been all around the country and all the rest of it. It's been to a, it, I think that, that pencil's met Matty Healy from the 1975. It's probably getting a bit big for its boots now. How, how are you feeling with it in the room with you? It is very surreal, but it, it's awesome. It, it's so much fun. And you went back to the post room and you got a slightly kind of, a, a sort of warmer reaction than you did the first time round. <laughs> They know me as famous Royal Pencil Boy now. Good. Again, you're getting the respect you deserve. So this pencil, you know, it changes your status, I guess, doesn't it, really, on campus? We could say that. Yeah. Well, I, did, I did just say that. So, Tom, <laughs> what are the plans for the pencil? What are the uh, pencil plans this week? Um, on Friday, we went out to Media City. And uh, Saturday, um, I'm home in Shrewsbury, so we had a little tour around Shrewsbury. It's been to Shrewsbury. We Darwin. didn't sanction a trip to Shrewsbury. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's been to Media City in Salford. It's been to Shrewsbury, right? Okay, and then what's what's happening this week with the pencil? Where where are we going uh, this week? Back to Manchester this afternoon. Okay. Hopefully, yeah, uh, bit more, bit more to tour around Manchester. Hopefully, nice. And are you doing any actual work this week? Do we think? I am. Note making is coming. Okay, <laughs> note making is coming. Okay, well, we look forward to the update. And uh, and Tom, hopefully. It's job done in terms of spreading a bit of joy in an otherwise quite strange start of term. So much done. Nice one. Okay, Tom, well, good luck with the rest of the week with this pencil and enjoy it. Use it as your own. Thank you. Don't die on me. Oh, that, that sounded like a message from me, that about don't die on me. That was actually from Stormzy, but it's still... <laughs> I mean, Young Black Kingdom. Good morning. I'm a little bit of a mess this morning. My hair's a bit of a state, but we move, we move, we move. Uh, today is my last day in Shrewsbury for another few weeks, probably. Uh, back to uni later today. But the Royal Pencil is still here, still in my hands, still bringing me luck, joy, fun. I'm loving it. Absolutely loving it. So this morning, me and the Pencil had quite an early start, actually. We were on um, at BBC Radio 1 Breakfast again with Greg James um, at 7.40 or just before, actually, I think it was, if you wanted to listen back. Um, it was so fun, honestly. I just, I laugh. I just, whenever Greg talks about something really funny, and I just remember how silly this is, I just laugh. So halfway through that, I was just laughing down the station. Brilliant. Down the waves, just laughing down the waves. Um, but yeah, it was so much fun and... Uh, I just love Greg and his team, like the show that they make, it's just brilliant. It's so much silliness. It's just the joy we need right now. It's honestly brilliant. Just brilliant. I don't call this actually. Never mind. But pencil, pencil, pencil. Last day in Shrewsbury. You're gonna try and take some photos of it around the village actually. Although the weather is disgusting. Um yeah, I'm gonna try to. Cause I was up so early, I fell asleep after. Um but yeah, off out for lunch with a friend and then hopefully after that I'm going to take some photos around the village and then my train is at 4.50. So back to Manchester for the Royal Pencil, back in its box. Um, We'll get it sent back at the end of the week. But before we do, it's got some note making to make and some hopefully more photos around Manchester. I'm going to find somewhere else to go. But yeah, I'm excited. More to come.
from A Day in the Life of the Royal Pencil. Also, I know this has nothing to do with the Royal Pencil, and sorry to interrupt the Royal Broadcast, but I'm driving my car again. Um, I drove it last night for the first time in a month since I've been away at university, which has flown by, by the way. It's absolutely flown. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm driving my car. It's so weird. The weirdest feeling. I think because I've... The longest time I've ever been without driving my car is a week. And because I've been gone for four weeks at university, which does not feel like four weeks. Now I'm back, it does not feel like four weeks. But because I've been gone for that long, like I've not drove my car in such a long time. And it to most drivers, it probably wouldn't be weird. But because I've only been driving almost two years now, actually. In December, it'll be two years. Um, but it's just so weird to get back into the rhythm of it. But I loved it. Last night, I just took it through a longer drive just because I was that excited about it. But yeah, back to the Royal Pencil. On the top of the castle in my village with the Shropshire Hills behind us with the Royal Pencil. Just thought I'd bring it to my home village just because it's quite exciting. But there we go. This is not fun. Back in Manchester, but for tonight, good night from the Royal Pencil. There we go. Back in its box. Okay, me now, <laughs> Yeah. Madrid. So out for the drinks. I didn't bring the Royal Pencil with me though, because I thought I might lose it or something. So no Royal Pencils. I'm sorry, someone just looked at me. No Royal Pencil tonight, but we're out for drinks. It is 10 o'clock, 10 p.m. curfew, just been kicked out. Um, but yeah, had a great night, but no royal pencil, but I promised it's safe, tucked up in bed, it's fine, absolutely fine. This is so cool. This is so cool. I wish I bought the royal pencil now. Okay, so welcome back. We have not neglected the Royal Pencil, it has been having a well-earned rest, but we are in a uni session and I'm going to use the Royal Pencil. I'm actually going to write with it right now. So here we go. There we go, I wrote this with the Royal Pencil. And it actually worked quite nice to be honest, very smooth, lovely stuff. The Royal Pencil is back outside Coronation Street again, in Media City! Just a media city done with a pencil. Lovely. So I'm back with the royal pencil one last day because I'm sending it back tomorrow, which I'm quite sad about. Uh, we've just been down Dean's Gate Canals, which is very nice. And for one last time, because we love it up by Media City and we're taking it to Media City. So let's go. One last adventure. Here we are. One last adventure with the wall pencil. Hi guys. Wait, it looks like you're touching the wall pencil there. <laughs> Look how nice it looks up here. It's so nice. You probably see my Instagram all the time that I'm here, but it's so nice. <sighs> Beautiful. There's BBC breakfast out there. Give us a wave. But yeah, lovely.
So the last place I go with the Royal Pencil is obviously Media City. Lovely. We just came, we were just going down the canal really and then we thought we'll go here again, why not? But it's so nice and peaceful here. But yeah, thank you very much Radio 1. Royal Pencil has been amazing. So much done, like the best distraction ever. I could ever ask for, but yeah. There we go, Media City. Back on the tram. And pancakes. <laughs> Royal Pencil in St. Peter's Square with the library. Nice building there, the tram. And yeah, there we go. So this is the last night with the pencil. It's going back to Radio 1 tomorrow. Um, there it is in its box. I've also wrote Radio 1 quite a long letter just to say thanks. Yeah, so I wrote them a little letter just to say thank you. Um, obviously to most people it's just a pencil, but it's brought so much togetherness, so much fun. It's been the biggest distraction. It's brought me close to people on my course. It was nice to go home to Shrewsbury and see my friends, my mum's friends, um, and my mum, obviously. And just so nice to just explore Manchester and Shrewsbury again and just have some silly fun. Like, it's the distraction everyone needs right now. Um, the fact they included me is crazy. But a lot of people know how much of the Radio 1 fan I am. So it's 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 been so much fun. Like, I can't describe it in any other word than just fun. Um, I don't know, I was writing that letter and I was like, so emotional. Not emotional, but like, I had a tear in my eye. I was like, no, oh, I don't want to send it back. Um, but yeah, it's been so much fun. All good things must come to an end. Um... But yeah, like, it's been so much fun. So thank you for watching this most random video. Um, but yeah, you know, and I'm going to quote Greg James here. When I said about my YouTube channel, he said on the radio, Tom has a YouTube channel. Someone's doing all right. So that is my new slogan for the YouTube channel. Someone's doing all right. Quote Greg James. So thank you for watching. Um, more videos coming soon, hopefully. But from me and the Royal Pencil... It's goodbye for now, and I wish the next person that gets to look after this amazing pencil has the best time ever, has so much fun, and I wish you well. Are you well? I thought you were. Uh, but yeah, it's been so much fun. So if anyone at Radio 1, Greg James, whoever, are you listening, are you watching? Thank you. Thank you so much. It has been amazing, like absolutely amazing, and I've enjoyed every single second of having a pencil, which I thought I'd never say. But yeah, it's been so much fun. So I don't want it to end, but thank you. It's The Breakfast Show on Thursday morning. And do you know what? I woke up this morning thinking, where the hell is my royal pencil? And where is it? Is it okay? Um, Tom, explain this. Good morning, by the way. Well, where's my pencil? Good morning. I, I still have your pencil. So it's, it's safe and well, is it? It is safe and well, tucked up in its box. <laughs> tucked up, which is nice. Well, autumnal and, uh, and probably chilly, isn't it, in Manchester at the moment? It has gone very cold, mm. actually. Let's just recap what's going on here. Tom is a fresher at Manchester Met University, and you're about to go into Tier 3. We'll get to that in a second. We sent you the Royal Pencil to bring a bit of joy to your first uh, couple of weeks of freshers and stuff like that. Has it been, I mean, it's tricky times, isn't it? Obviously, and Manchester Met's been in the news quite a lot. Manchester's been in the news quite a lot in the last few days. Has it brought any joy to you? Oh, the pencil has brought me so much joy. It's been so fun. Me and friends and then going around Manchester and taking photos. It's, it's been the distraction we needed. <laughs> That's good. Where has it visited around Manchester? A beautiful city, by the way. So where have you been? It's been up to Media City a few times. Nice. It's been to the Northern Quarter. It's been to Athlex. Nice. It's a nice little trip round. Great. Has it been down to the canal at all? Not yet, actually. No, mm. maybe a quick trip before it goes. Yeah, well, this is the thing. I, I, look, I mean, it didn't start well, uh, but we've got there in the end. So let's just recap what happened when you tried to go and get it from the post room. Get out! Yeah, sort of dismissed quite, quite quickly, <laughs> weren't you? But, um, yeah, we, we want to we wanna move it on, the pencil, actually. And I want to get it out of Manchester before you go into Tier 3 on Friday, if that's OK. We're going to airlift it out of there. <laughs> I'll get it back to you. Yeah, we want to get it we, we want to get it out of there, I'm sorry to say. But you, you think you've had optimum joy with it so far, but I think it's time to pass it on to someone else, maybe. Definitely time to pass it on. Uh, and 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 Tom, how's the how's the mood at university at the moment? I know you can't speak for the whole of of Greater Manchester, but what's uh, what's it like on campus? Have things settled down a little bit, or is it still a lot of confusion? 
Still quite confusion, yeah. We get we're kinda getting somewhere but it's taken a while I think. Yeah. Well, thank you for being on the show. I'm pleased that it served as some sort of distraction and I hope things uh, clear up a little bit uh, sooner rather than later. And thank you for looking after the pencil so well and keeping it all um, tucked up, as you said. <laughs> <laughs> it has been a pleasure. Thank you very much. Right, it's time to send it back. Send it back to me and then we, uh, we've got some more plans for the Royal Pencil. The story is not complete just yet. And Tom, do you have any final words before you send the pencil off packing? Uh, just thank you very much for cheering me up for the start of my university experience. It's been such a good distraction and brought me and my friends together, so it's been really fun. Tom, you're a gem. Thank you so much, and we'll speak soon. Bye. So I picked my favourite pictures with the Royal Pencil. I've got Shrewsbury, Media City, Media City again, but with the Radio 1 logo on because that looks cool. But yeah, there we go. We're at a letter, we're at a card. There's the pencil. It's about to go in its box and send back. But it's been the best time. The best time ever. I know it's a pencil, but it's meant a lot more than that to me. Goodbye to the pencil. It's in its box. Should we close it up for one last final time? Bless you, pencil. Bless you. Back in the box with the letter, cards, photos, everything. There we have it. Back to Radio 1. The last person to have custody of the Royal Pencil was Tom at Manchester Met. And I've got a card. I've received it. So it's in a box, the pencil, and I've received a card as well. Very, very sweet of him with photos of him with the Royal Pencil, which is great commitment to nonsense. And he says, Dear Greg and the team at Radio 1, thank you so much for letting me look after the Royal Pencil. To most people, it's just a pencil. But to me, it's meant so much more than that. You chose me as the recipient when I was going through a very difficult time and your support and kind words have given me such a boost. That's very sweet. And at the end of the, the card, he says, I hope the next adventure is as fun as mine has been. Um, thank you again, Tom. Tom, thank you. And it's here. It's in, my, it's in my hands again. I'm so pleased to get it back. 